Alpha Automotive Development Platform is the only hardware platform you will ever need to design, test and prototype next generation automotive algorithms. Being that machine vision based algorithms on multiple cameras, AI and big data algorithms or decision logic outputting to CAN, Ethernet, PCIe or HDMI, Alpha has it all. Autonomous cars will be heavily loaded with sensors. Much of their intelligence is based on camera input processing. Based on cameras, it is possible to monitor the driver, traffic, pedestrians, lanes, drivable surface, map car environment accurately, calculate collision times and enable the autonomous driving scenarios. All this is possible to design, develop and test on Alpha. Backed by Texas Instruments, companies such as Denso, Stratvision, Photonation, Kpit and LG already use Alpha in their developments. Alpha is the most compact and the most powerful TI-based automotive development platform in the market. Since it is based on three separate configurations of TDA2 SOCs by Texas Instruments, three developers may simultaneously develop and test their algorithms, each utilizing a dedicated SOC, HDMI, JTAG and Ethernet. Alpha is not simply a sum of three TDA2s. When needed, each developer can reconfigure their SOC to benefit from resources on other SOCs and the abundance of interfaces not locally available, all backed with software abstractions available only on Alpha. First of all, second name of Alpha is Automotive Machine Vision. Each algorithm running on a single SOC on Alpha can fetch video from any of the 10 available FPD link-based automotive cameras, process it and move it to further processing on DSPs, ARM cores, GPU, another SOC on Alpha or even another Alpha connected to the network. Finally, outputs can also be seen via the corresponding HDMI or FPD video output. Consisting of three TDA2SX processors with 1.5 GB of memory and 32 MB flash each, Alpha allows the developers to utilize Texas Instruments tools and SDKs, such as Vision SDK, to develop on top of each SOC separately. Each TDA2 can access any of the 10 available cameras, either directly or via PCIe or Ethernet from an adjacent SOC. Vision SDK is extended so that physical location of cameras is less relevant to developers who can use Lynx API to get their desired video stream. Each SOC is exposed to either of the two Ethernet outputs utilizing Daisy Chain, what allows them to communicate internally. SOC1 and SOC2 can use fast PCIe to move data, whereas all SOCs have access to CAN, UART, HDMI, JTAG and SATA. Real power of Alpha, however, lies in its heterogeneity. Each TDA2 SOC is already a composition of hardware blocks, allowing accelerated processing. In addition to main CPU, ARM Cortex-A15, ARM Cortex-M4, two C66 DSPs and four embedded vision engines are available. SysBIOS or Linux together with Vision SDK allow the utilization of all these blocks for efficient development of accelerated, vision-based and AI-enabled algorithms. Only on Alpha, Vision SDK is extended by AMV middleware allowing the connectivity beyond the limits of a single SOC. AMV acts as a glue layer between each TDA2 SOC and three separate instances of Vision SDK. Using the AMV links configurator, developers can define which resources they need on a specific instance of their Vision SDK and access them using standard Vision SDK. This way, 
their algorithms may utilize all three SOCs and also various algorithms may be executed simultaneously, reusing resources across SOCs. Furthermore, once developed binaries, which are based on Vision SDK, can easily be reconfigured to utilize different camera inputs or send data to various different outputs only by means of a configuration file pushed to alpha by the AMV links configurator. AMV not only breaks boundaries of a single SOC, it breaks boundaries of a single hardware. AMV, therefore, may act as a glue between two or more alphas, providing a true enabler to any configuration required for rich, accelerated data processing required in future vehicles. We already attempted to push Alpha to its limits, running a simulated future car environment, consisting of many instances of algorithms required for the future car, running simultaneously and sharing data. These include driver monitoring, camera mirror system, lane detection, pedestrian detection, vehicle detection, road tracking, surround and bird view, rear view, and more. AMV load balancing middleware allows separation of algorithms pipelines across cores and SOCs. To create required links, AMV SDK configuration tool creates a configuration which can be uploaded to any of the TI TDA2 SOCs. This configuration defines all links between SOCs and data types, for example, camera feeds or processed video. The algorithms using video SDK and existing data links can be easily reconfigured without the need to recompile the code. This configuration example shows two alpha boards, totaling to six TDA2 SOCs, each having a set of available general-purpose abstract data boards. Each port can be defined as either data input or output. If algorithms provide data to the outside world, they need to define one output port. If algorithms require data from the outside world, they need to define an input port. Ports may be configured as pass-through, meaning that port may provide data which is already available on the SOC without any algorithm alterations or coding. Communication is defined per port as PCIe, Ethernet network, CAN or video link, again with no need to know this inside algorithms. Each port can be linked by defining a link. Link can feed the port from available system sources or from another general purpose data port. Generic link can be arbitrarily named and can be declared data type for. Video link, for example, can be in YUV420 or automatically encoded to H264 without user intervention. For video link, we define which camera streams shall be included. To receive data to another SOC, input port shall be defined and connected with the previously defined link. This way, we provided camera feed from SCV SOC on Alpha 1 to FFM SOC on Alpha 1. This is also possible to do between Alpha boards using the network without any code intervention by the developer. Finally, Configuration is uploaded to the system directly from the tool. Vision SDK provides USK generation tool to create efficient algorithms for TDA2 chips. This is already used by Texas Instruments community and AMV does not require any changes in how Vision SDK is used to perform load balancing. Vision SDK links and chains connect tasks which are executed on different cores. AMV enables these links and chains to go beyond boundaries of one SOC. Here's one use case example of a ready-made object detection algorithm which utilizes Vision SDK in a standard configuration. Using AMV, we can split this existing pipeline 
to execute on two different SOCs. User adds three AMV ports, one for camera input, second for PCIe link to another SOC, and the third to return processed data via PCIe to the A15 on the original SOC for final processing. Vision SDK use case generator with AMV support is extended so that the use cases utilizing AMV ports are generated automatically. Now, this procedure shall be done for SOC1 and for SOC2, since algorithm will execute on both of these SOCs. AMV SDK configuration tool is now used to make required links. According to the use case graph, user shall create appropriate port configurations and also be very flexible regarding selection of cameras for object detection, unlike standard Vision SDK configuration. We therefore create AMV port 1. Then we create AMV port 2. Finally, we create AMV port 3. And we upload the configuration to the board. Now, these two use cases result in a working object detection algorithms which is load balanced and utilizes two SOCs for processing. As a conclusion, if you are developing using Texas Instruments ADAS chips or would like to try, but also would like to go heterogeneous and to easily scale up, or simply save using a compact yet powerful hardware, try Alpha. Alpha is fit to small scale video processing projects but also can scale up to multi-SOC and multi-board designs which encompass many algorithm instances in big data contexts, getting you one step closer to full vehicle brain prototypes for the future level 4 and level 5 autonomous cars.